Have you ever felt a tingling sensation while listening to certain sounds? Maybe a whisper, the tap of a pencil, or the rustle of a paper bag? If so, you've experienced ASMR. ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is an intriguing phenomenon that's been capturing the fascination of millions around the globe. It's this physical sensation, a sort of tingling or frisson, that often begins in the scalp, then trickles down the back of your neck and upper spine. But it's not random. This sensation is typically triggered by specific auditory or visual stimuli. Think of it as a symphony of sensory experiences, where the gentlest of sounds and visuals can send waves of relaxation cascading through your body. Over the past few years, this curious phenomenon has been gaining popularity on the internet and social media platforms, turning the world of relaxation and sensory exploration on its head. But ASMR is not just a recent trend, it's been around longer than you might think. While it's true that the term Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, or ASMR, was only coined in the year 2010, the sensations it describes have been experienced by people for far longer, often without a name to put to the experience. As the internet grew, so did the recognition and understanding of these sensations. The rise of social media platforms provided a perfect platform for ASMR content to flourish. Users began sharing audio and video clips designed to trigger ASMR, from whispering and soft speaking to tapping and crinkling sounds. These videos found an eager audience and the popularity of ASMR skyrocketed. What started as a niche corner of the internet rapidly expanded into a global phenomenon. From YouTube to Instagram, ASMR content creators emerged, each providing their unique take on triggers to soothe their viewers. Today, it's not uncommon to find people all over the world seeking out ASMR content online to trigger these sensations. So, how does ASMR work exactly? Let's delve into the science of it. ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is a fascinating phenomenon. It's often triggered by specific auditory or visual stimuli, leading to sensations of tingling and relaxation. But what's happening in our brains when we experience these feelings? Scientific research on ASMR is still in its early stages, but some studies suggest that it's all about brain activation. Certain stimuli like soft whispering or gentle tapping can trigger ASMR, activating areas of the brain associated with pleasure and relaxation. This may explain why so many people find ASMR to be a calming, soothing experience. Research has also shown that ASMR might affect the nervous system. During an ASMR experience, some individuals have reported lowered heart rates and reduced stress levels, indicating a physiological response to the stimuli. While research is still ongoing, it's clear that ASMR has a significant impact on our brain and body. Beyond the tingles, what good can ASMR do for us? Let's delve into the physiological responses that ASMR can trigger. It's not just about the goosebumps and tingles. For many, ASMR induces a lowered heart rate, which can be a great aid to relaxation. It's like a natural stress reliever, helping to reduce anxiety levels and even enhance mood. Imagine this. It's been a long day and you're feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. You tune into your favorite ASMR video, and soon, your heart rate starts to slow down, your stress begins to melt away, and a sense of calm washes over you. Moreover, many people use ASMR as a sleep aid. The gentle sounds and visuals can help quiet the mind, leading to a more restful night's sleep. It's like a lullaby for adults, soothing the conscious mind into a state of tranquility and rest. Whether you're a longtime fan or new to the world of ASMR, it's a fascinating field that blends sensory experiences with science, promising relaxation, and serenity in our hectic lives.